it's 365Y with Eric and Julie Zimalis. And today, well, today what happened is yesterday what happened, the lava went off yesterday. Kilauea, there is lava back in the crater. So what are we going to do? We're going to take you and see it. So that's today's plan. We're going to see if we can get there maybe before the sun gets down. It's getting late. I don't know if we're actually going to make that. But at least we're going to get it up there. Should be a, a fun day. We'll give you an update on what the lava is going to be like. Have any thoughts on that? Uh, it looks like the lava lake is actually full. And so I'm excited to see hopefully some fountaining and also to be able to see it from other places besides where you normally see it. Right? Our, friend, our friends are like, I'll bring us back the, the skinny on the best place to see the lava. So we'll bring it to you. So here you go. Okay, the fog is here. We're about 15 or 20 miles out. It's foggy, dark and gloomy. Okay, so here we go. You saw a pretty good view of the steam beds, but we're only getting a glow. Yeah. It's like you can almost see it, but it's a good glow. But next we're off to Jagger to go see if we can get a better view of it. Uh, but tonight we've got the moonlight out, which makes it a little bit more bright, which helps make it look a little bit cooler. So let's go take a look at the other side. And, oh, and then lastly, then we're gonna go the we're gonna walk into the part that we know can see it. So we're gonna get three different angles today and do a full evaluation of how cool it looks. If you love a true adventure, the worst thing that can happen is if someone puts a barrier down right behind you, and then this is... <laughs> and then people walk right through the barrier. Mm -hmm. But you feel like, because you're a public official, that you have to stay on this side of the barrier. So this is kind of a bus near the Jagged Museum unless you decide to jump past the barrier. So what we're going to end up doing is walking the mile down the sea into the cold air. Okay, so time is 1025 at Desolation Trail. People are still coming in. It's only day two of this eruption and it's just calming down now and there's parking places. So it just shows you if you go late, that's the trick. If you try to go at seven o'clock, you're not gonna make it. There was cars all the way down the road and I assume they're still here. So let's go check out the lava and we'll go from there. It's like a scene of the walking dead. All these people walking in moonlight alone on the road. <laughs> Okay, the time is 11.15. As you can see, there were, I don't know, say 100 people down there, as you would yeah. say. And they were all enjoying it. And I'll say this, the lava is, is bigger than we've seen in a, in a long time, in terms of the amount of the lake, yeah. lake is just gigantic. And I think I counted six, seven little spouts coming up. No, you, I'll, I'll show them in the video, you can see them. Yeah, so you guys see fountaining lava this close to uh, where you can stand without having to use binoculars to see it with your bare eyes is pretty awesome. And you know, when people say, oh, be careful, you're near the lava. You can't feel the heat. It's right there. It's the coolest thing to be able to be this close to the creation of Earth and not have to worry about running. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, don't worry about running in this case. It's right there. Yeah. It's not going out of that caldera at all. Yeah. But, uh, uh, definitely spectacular. Well worth coming to here. You know what I mean? I'm sure more people are going to start coming more often. Uh, and the question is, what's going to happen in the future? Is it going to get bigger? Is it going to calm down? What are you going to do? But the lava lake looks good for sure. Yeah. And I'll tell you guys, one of the cool things too is that A, um, listening to all the different people from around the world. I yes. heard people that were here from Switzerland and Russia 
of all places. And uh, also there's uh, just people here who um, have actually flown in tonight just to see this. Um, if you guys get a chance, I don't think this is going to die anytime soon. I think like with Mauna Loa, um, it was going to be a short-lived volcano because it normally is. But um, the lava lake looks like it's going to be here for a little bit. Um, so make it happen. And you guys, I can't even believe what the, the glow probably looks really awesome from the uh, Rim restaurant at the Volcano House. If yeah. you want to give that a shot. What's interesting today is it's super clear today and there's not a cloud in the sky, which is very unusual for this this part. Uh, and the wind is up, but so there's le much less of a glow there would be if there had cloud cover. Oh yeah, you can see the cloud bouncing off of the uh, clouds. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, but um, even though it's almost the middle of the night, uh, I think we're really happy that we made it a point to come out here at this point. Definitely. I'm glad we were able to take you guys along. Yep. So with that, we'll we say, say aloha. aloha.